best run franchises, Montreal Canadiens. The Montreal Canadiens aren't doing good right now, but historically, they are the winningest franchise in the NHL. The franchise is one of the original six teams that have won more Stanley Cups than any other franchise. In total, the Canadiens have won 24 Stanley Cups, 23 of them since the founding of the NHL, and 22 of them since 1927. As of 2014, Canadiens have won 25.3% of all Stanley Cups, making them the second most successful North American sports team after the New York Yankees. Maurice the Rocket Richard emerged as the team's star in the 1940s. During the 1944-45 season, Richard became the first player in NHL history to score 50 goals in a single season. In 1959, Doc Plant revolutionized the game when he became the first goaltender to consistently wear a mask during play. The Montreal Canadiens reached the finals each year from 1951 to 1960, including a record five consecutive titles from 1956 to 1960. Under GM Sam Pollock, the Canadiens won nine Stanley Cups from 1964 to 1978. Pollock's key tactic was trading aging stars to expansion teams for draft picks, which led to the team drafting future Hall of Famers Guy Lafleur, Larry Robinson, and Ken Dryden. The 1976-77 Canadians are often regarded as the greatest NHL team of all time. They won 60 games while only losing 8, a record for fewest losses in an 80-game season. Guy Lafleur led the league in scoring and won the Hart, Lester Beer Pearson, Art Ross, and Cost Mike trophies. Ken Dryden won the Vezina Trophy, Scotty Bowman won the Jack Adams Award, and Larry Robinson won the Norris Trophy. Led by goaltender Patrick Law, the Canadians won the 23rd Stanley Cup in 1986 and the 24th in 1993. Wall won the Conn Smythe as playoff MVP in 1986 and 1993. The Hockey Hall of Fame has inducted over 50 former Canadian players, as well as 10 executives. Despite the fact the Montreal Canadiens haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1993, that doesn't take away from the fact that they are the winningest franchise in NHL history. Next, I'll be talking about one of the worst run franchises in NHL history, the Buffalo Sabres.